And before Threads, our culture didn't have anything to do with our performance reviews. It wasn't the total solution. Mm -hmm. And it didn't extend to their performance reviews and to discussions uh, about. Right, I mean, there's no measurable way to see the impact of doing something like that. Mm -hmm. They might be kind of, you know, hey, that was fun, that was good activity, back to the desk and back to the same old thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing with, with the thread system, when it's put in there as essentially like a job duty of how you are as a person and, and the, how you portray yourself, how you act, how you do things, when you're able to kind of measure that in, um, and they know they're being measured on it, they know it's okay, I need to, it's just the same as I need to get my work done so fast, so well. It's also, there's also the measurable in there is I need to be I, this as a person. I need to work like this with my teammates. I need to show this type of attitude. They're also, if they just take and put a little bit of effort into the areas that they know they're going to be scored on when it comes to uh, values, a lot of times they open up a lot farther than they ever expected. When I became in, in charge of our review process, we were looking at um, questions that typically looked only at the tasks that people were doing. And as I looked through some personnel files of people who have been here a long time, I noticed that previously we had looked more at a values-based, um, you know, less about the tasks they were doing and more about um, you know, the kind of person that they were. And then before that, the old, old, old way to do it was again, looking specifically at tasks that they were doing. So people who didn't necessarily um, have the best fit in our organization were still getting really good scores because they did what they did technically, they did it well. We also had an issue with consistency between different areas and how a particular person giving a review would score their people versus scoring other people. Mm -hmm. And so um, when I'd look and see a 3.2 on a person in one department and a 3.2 on a person in another department, their performance was vastly different. One of the things that we really enjoyed about Threads is the fact that we can throw all of the people in similar positions up on the grid at the same time and talk about their scores and how we got to where they are. And we really have established some common scoring principles that are shared with the staff and we will be willing to provide examples to them, specific examples, in their review process. And I'd say most of the time if I sat down and evaluated a, an employee's performance in my head and kind of thought about, you know, everything and what kind of employee I have, I'd say after I'm done, I, I, want, I want my scores to be reflective of um, what my overall impression is of that employee. And I think every time uh, I'm in the ballpark of where, of where I want to be what, by just scoring them and looking at each question. Definitely in the communications area, um, because you're able to wrap around a lot of different, like teamwork, for example, you're able to put a handful of different areas inside of a teamwork type score. And when you do the review, you're able to talk to them about that. It's not just... So again, it's not just the linear portion of here you're at. It's like, you know, here's a specific one or two where if you change them, you, you know, your your whole overall completely changes. And, and more so, it's probably the values types of scores. When they improve those and they work on those and you can see them do that, because those are the easy ones. That has nothing to do with what I do. Those ones they have complete control over. But when they do make those adjustments, you can actually even see their tasks get better. We've seen a fair amount of feedback where people are saying, oh, here's something I learned today, and I learned it because I did it the wrong way first, or um, you know, maybe I wasn't, I didn't do this maybe as well as I could have, I realized, after the fact. And so it's great to have that stuff, because at the end of the year, you're looking back and say, oh yeah, maybe there were some things that you, you were aware of that you weren't doing so great, but boy, you've really corrected them. One of the things that I thought was really nice was that it was easy to give it a try. There wasn't, a huge I wasn't making a huge investment in um, you know different software and, and or you know I wasn't making a huge commitment to anything um, and it didn't take long after we got started in it to realize that it was the best decision we could have made and the nice thing with being able to try it so easily is you can see results almost immediately I mean to me a lot of the stuff the proofs in the pudding for it you know we use we tried it we used it 
and the results happened now. I mean, it's, it's been a complete mind shift for everyone, not just us who do the reviews, but the staff and everybody. Not only do we believe in it and that it makes the employees better, they have control over what their review at the end of the year is going to look like. And they know that. Um, it's open to everyone to see. They can go in. They, it, it, the, they use the program. It's not just something we use. Um, you know, you can go to the, the training's fantastic. It's easy software to use. Anytime you need help, you can call right away, get an answer immediately. All that stuff's fantastic and it works. But again, to me, the proof of why we do it is because you can see the impact it makes so fast. And no other system's been able to do anything like that.